a pound. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another unboxing video. The first time I did an unboxing video, I did Birchbox, and that was the first subscription box that I've ever had. I hadn't had any experience with them whatsoever. I only know what I'd seen online and what other people have told me about them. And I don't want to spread negativity on my channel, but I feel like the Birchbox that I had last time, I didn't really enjoy it the way I thought I was going to. So I ended up going back and doing a lot of research online, seeing what was around and what was available. And I ended up going for a glossy box. A lot of people in the comments on the Birchbox website said that they'd gone from Birchbox and swapped over to Glossybox because it was so much better, they liked the products more, they got full size products rather than the, you know, the really small mini ones and just all round it was better sort of value for money. Not saying that a Birchbox or a Glossybox isn't value for money because oh my Christ, some of the stuff that I've had in them are insane. I decided instead of just getting one and then showing you the first one that I ever got, I ended up ordering three just before this one that I've got behind me. And I have to say, I was so impressed. I got full size products of everything that I've had so far until this one. I got a really wide variety of stuff on the website. They sort of tried to tailor the box to your needs. Also in July, they sent me an email about the August Glossy Box saying that there was an option of palette that I could choose from. So I went ahead and chose one and Lo and behold, it arrived on my doorstep. But yeah, I thought I would try out a couple of them just before, just in case, you know, the same thing happened with the Birchbox. Like, I wasn't completely happy with the Birchbox and I wasn't completely happy with that video either. So I thought I'd give it a little test run before I decided to make another video and pop it on my channel. So this is the glossy box that I received this month for August. It is really cute. It's a bit different from the other ones. Normally they're sort of pink with um, black glossy box writing on it and all that kind of thing with the logo in the middle and also the color scheme's really nice. You know, they've got the stripes on there, white, pink and gray. It's just a really nice color scheme. Then you open it up inside. I kind of already messed it up a little bit because I was excited and wanted to see. They do the ribbon on the inside that's normally all nicely tied. But again, obviously, like I said, I bust this one open and just got straight in there to have a look and then you've got all the stuff inside. I also got a little card as well with the parcel just telling you about the products and you know what the name is and the website and how much they retail for and stuff so I'm just gonna go through and explain the products and tell you what I think of them I guess. Slump that down there. <laughs> So earlier I mentioned Glossybox sent me an email about a palette asking what option I would pick if I had an option of which one I wanted. I went for the third option because I'm not very adventurous when it comes to eyeshadows. I don't really use eyeshadow very often, but when I do, I always opt for the sort of like the matte colors, the brown ones, I'm slightly scared of shimmer. The palette that they gave to us was the MUA Professionals palette, as you can see. I found that these palettes are quite popular. Um, I've seen them a lot in Superdrug at the moment. A lot of people rave about them. Some say that one of the palettes in particular that MUA do is an absolute like legit dupe for one of the Naked palettes that are out. I can't remember which one it is, whether or not it's the Naked palette or the Naked 2. But I thought it was really nice and like quite a personal touch that they gave you the option of which one you wanted. So this is what the palette looks like on the inside. As you can see, there's a couple of like shimmery shades and then there's the neutral ones as well, which I really like. So on the back it says Earth and Shadow Palette and then you've got all of the names of the um, shades there. But I'm just going to go ahead and swatch one of these now. The one that I'm swatching is, so this one is Valley, excuse the fact that my nails are so grown out underneath. It's a really nice kind of, come back, come back. It's a really nice kind of like coppery shimmery shade. I'm just going to rub that on the back of my hand and then I'll show you like this. It's really nice and pigmented as well quite like that one so if you can just see on the back of my hand they are so nice look at the shimmer on those I know earlier I said I was a bit scared of shimmer but I actually kind of like these I am willing to give this a go it says on the website that this palette retails for four pound which is crazy for the quality that you get of product as well and even though I don't like shimmery colors it swayed me just swatching these on the back of my hand so hopefully I will do an eyeshadow tutorial at some point with this palette the next thing that I'm gonna reach for in the glossy box is this and this is the mud masky so this is what it looks like up close it's got a really nice packaging on the outside read on this card that it retails for 53 pounds it says on the website and on the outside of the tube that it is a facial detoxing purifying recovery mask but the reviews are all five star on the website i haven't had a chance to try it yet so i'm just gonna open this up and um, give it a little squeeze and rub on the back of my hand it smells quite fresh and quite like citrusy i think Ooh, okay so when you rub it onto the back of your hand, it's a greyish kind of colour. It's got a few little specks of something something in there. So it says on the back of this card from Glossy Box that it's one of the first pH balanced facial treatments. It's formulated using all natural ingredients and contains no parabens. 
cause a paraben. Still, but still manages to thoroughly detoxify the skin. Also refines and tightens pores, hydrates, brightens and smooths skin and generally gives it a boost. I can feel it hardening on the back of my hand already. <laughs> it smells kind of like clay. I've just started getting into face masks at the moment and I'm definitely gonna give that one a go for sure. So the next thing that I got in my glossy box is this and this is a Spa To You Facial Deep Pore Cleansing Brush. Now, a lot of people online have been using the electronic ones called, I think they are like Clarisonic or something like that. It's the electronically based ones where they've got the interchangeable brush heads and whatnot. I really want one of those but I've never tried using an actual brush to cleanse my face. I've only ever used like a little pad to sort of massage the um, cleanser into my face when I'm showering. So I wasn't sure on whether or not I would like it. But when I got this, I was like, oh my God, they read my mind. The brush head itself is a combination of bristles and there's also like a silicone bristle in there just to help get rid of all the dirt and clear the pores on the face. This normally retails for $6.99, which I think is a pretty decent price for what you get. I definitely think I'm gonna give this a go later, you know, get a couple of pumps of cleanser, rub it on my face, and then use this to buff away at the dead skin cells. And hopefully I will notice a difference in my skin because I really need it. So the last thing that I got in my glossy box was this, and this is the Cowshed Invigorating Body Lotion. As you can see, it is a smaller sample size tube of around about 30 mils, I think it is. The full size tube is 300 mils and retails for about 20 pounds. So on the bottle it says that it is a mix of essential oils, lemongrass, ginger and rosemary. Which you can most definitely smell from just sniffing the tube before I even put it on the back of my hand. This is basically a deep cleansing body lotion with a mixture of sheer and cocoa butters. I don't tend to use body lotions very often because I find they take a really long time to dry on my skin. My skin does not seem to suck up the moisture that it's given which is kind of annoying. I think I'm probably going to keep this product for travel purposes probably because you always need body lotion when you go on holiday most definitely especially when it's hot. So this will be nice and convenient for when I decide I want to go on holiday soon. So the last thing I got in my glossy box isn't actually a makeup product. I thought this was quite a cute touch that they put this in because it kind of shows that this glossy box was a bit more special than the other ones. But I know myself that I always use these. I find them really handy for like, again, when I'm traveling or if I'm staying out and I need to like take my makeup away, you know. You've probably already guessed what it is. It's a tiny little makeup bag. As you can see, it's kind of got the same theme going on as the cover of the box as well. It's just a little canvas bag with a slightly plasticky kind of inside, I'm guessing, just to make sure that if your products spill, it doesn't spill into the bag and it saves it. And it's got a little toggle with a zip on the top, which is adorable. So there you have it. That was my glossy box for this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's all for today's video and I shall see you later.